I don't, yeah, I'm just thinking, do I need to do another briefing? Do we need to do that? I was nearly said suffer that, but I thought you were thinking I'm being really rude. <laughs> Be cheek. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> don't I'm saying, don't I'm saying. <laughs> But to put it into context, I think I'm going to. Gonna. Yeah, no, do it. No, do it, because then I can sort of look back and compare the two then, can't I? All right. So um, so we're going to do roundabouts. Same scenario. You've done two junctions before. Mm-hmm. And we're moving on to roundabouts. Happy? Happy. Right. So you get your... So, yeah, we've started. So you've jumped in the car. Yeah. You know, you know the drill. When you get in the car... Do, do cockpit drill. Mm-hmm. Why don't you talk me through what you're doing, why you're doing it, just to show you how good you are with it. So let's go through your, what's your routine you're going to use for your cockpit drill? D, triple S, M. All right, so you just go through that. Doors. Cool. Yep, yeah, they're both shut. Do my seat. It's so nice and comfortable on, on the leg, you know, within reach. Nice and comfortable. Height, good. Nice upright. So, headrest, seat belt, steering wheel, bottom palms there. Yeah. All very good. And then mirrors. It's a sort of half and half ground sky, and sort of like a thumb whip. Thumb whip of the, thumb whip of the car. Frame. Frame on the back. Yep. All complete? Yep. 100%? Sure. Door seat, seat belt steering, mirrors. What have I missed? Passengers? No oh, one, yeah. Do they need a seat belt? Yeah. Who's responsible? Me or you? Uh, I am under 14. That's it. Yeah. yeah. But would you check your passengers if they got a seatbelt on? Well, yeah. Yeah. yeah why, was, why, was, why, 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 why would you want to know? Regardless of my age, where have I got a seatbelt on? Oh, I know you're going to be safe in, in the event of anything. Yeah. It's, and you. Yeah, your yeah. safety. Yeah, that's it, yeah. Not yeah. on me. What, 11 stone? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe 12. <laughs> <laughs> If I at 30 miles an hour, me coming at you, times that by three. Yeah. Yeah, that's gonna hurt, isn't it? So, um, yeah, so good. So, yeah, so good cop at drill. We're gonna. Sorry, I dropped my stuff on the back seat. We're gonna look at some. That's your little picture. Roundabouts. So, I just need to. The pins in that door. And I'm just gonna rub this. So let's just go through the basics yeah. of roundabouts, okay? Because we'll ease you into it today. We've not done roundabouts before. Mm-hmm. But have we done dual carriageways? Yes. No. Oh, well, yeah, go yeah. Good. Yeah, let's go for it. Yeah, good. All right, so we've done a bit of dual carriageways. So what's the speed limit on a dual carriageway? 70. 70. And how did you feel when you went on it doing 70 or did you not like it? How were you? It's a bit quick. All right, yeah. So um, so today we'll be doing a section of dual carriageway because the roundabouts we're going to use today have got a section of dual carriageway between them. Mm-hmm. All right, so, um, so you're familiar with that. We're just going to keep it nice and simple. The main focus is on, on the roundabouts. Okay, so let's just take a nice, simple roundabout. Yep. Yeah. So as we approach, we're going to start with turning left. Mm-hmm. Okay. So um, what system have we been using for your junctions? MS PSL. Cool. So, we, oh yeah, pen's running out. Hang on a minute. Get it primed up. Oh, it's, I think it's dead. <laughs> It could have been me. I was talking with the lid off for ages. I no, I think I think mind. it just needs. I got one in the boot. We're we get through it yeah, for today. Yeah. We'll just eke out the last bit of pen. 
<laughs> okay, so we've got our system. So if we're approaching this roundabout to turn left, yeah. what mirrors are we going to check? Centre left. Good. And why left? Just in case anything's coming up like a cyclist or something. Right. Right. Good. Are we going to need a signal? Yes. Very good. Position. How would you position for this roundabout as it's pictured here? Sort of off to the left, sort of following the curve yeah. line. So like that. It's just like a... Uh, just like yeah. when you do a tea change, you follow it around, don't you? Yeah. Follow the curb around for your yeah. position. Good. And speed and gear. Mm -hmm. So, as we approach, now we've, when we're our junctions, just to recap, we've done open junctions. Yeah. We've done closed junctions. Yeah. We've done junctions with giveaways. Mm -hmm. We've done junctions with stop signs. Yeah. So, roundabouts, would you. What would you imagine? Do you think they're going to be open or closed junctions? I think they'll be fairly open. Yeah, and do you know why they're fairly open? To allow good visibility, to see. Yeah, keep things moving. Keeping things moving. So um, you'll never, you won't see a stop line on a roundabout, unlike T junctions. Okay. So they're going to be fairly open junctions. Um, doesn't mean that we won't get obstructions to the right block in your view. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have a look. So on approach, so when we've done our mirror position, mirror signal position, we're going to actually start looking into that roundabout. And so who are we going to give way to? People on our right. That's it. So we're going to give way to the right. Um, if we see a gap, we could take it, can we? So we're actually, what we're going to be looking for is gaps in the roundabout. Okay. So as you approach, you're looking well ahead into the roundabout. You're looking ahead into this road. You're looking into the road to the right. You're not so worried about people coming in from this one because they won't drive the wrong way around the roundabout. We won't know anyway. Okay. And you still want to look into the road you're going into. So you can have a good yeah. scan. You can have good vision of the roundabout, looking mainly to the right, ahead and to the left and you're looking for a safe gap so what are you going to be doing with your speed on approach will you be speeding up or reducing oh it? reducing yeah you're going to reduce your speed and what kind of gear do you think you'd need a low one yeah it's hard to say isn't it because you your gear would depend on your speed so it could be fast if you need to bring it to like a rolling stop, like mm -hmm. we've done on T junction, closed junctions, might need to do that. Could be second if it's clear. Some of the roundabouts we're going to do today are quite wide roads and might even be able to get away with third. They're that open. So um, you have good open visibility. But as a rule, general rule is if you're going to, if we're going to slow down, down to second gear speed, take second gear. But it's not like a, a rule. Okay. Yeah, we can be flexible with gears. We're going to get our speed right first. Then, based on our speed, we're picking appropriate gear for the roundabout to then go shape the roundabout. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we're going to deal with turning left to start with. Yeah. Happy. Yeah. We will cover going ahead and right in a little bit. Okay. So we're just going to keep it nice and simple. Yeah. To left. So now decisions to go into the roundabout. We kind of there's a couple of things I just want to cover, so I'm just going to draw on it <laughs> like that. You see that? Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. <laughs> so I've just drawn a third. Yeah. Onto the roundabout, and this is kind of our danger area. So if we cut that in, shaded that in, anything in that area is a risk. We're dealing with risk at this point. So if you're coming in there and there's a car here, could you go? Yes. Yeah, he's not in your third yet. What about if he's, someone's coming over here? Could you go? Yeah. Yeah. Watch their speed because, yeah, if someone's going fast or they've got blue lights on, then we'll give way to them. Okay. Okay. So, um, but as a rule, if they're in that area, that third, we're giving way. So that's that. So what about if this car now enters that here? Make my pen work again. What if he's here? What would you do about him? I don't know. It depends where he's going to go. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. So what way could he go? 
Where could, what, where might he end up? Well, here. He could end up there, exiting the roundabout before you, or okay. where else might he go? Across the front of me. He might go there. And at this point, you don't know. So what indication could he give you what he's doing? He could put his left hand indicator on. He could. So if he's coming this way. He could. To tell you he's coming down here. Would you trust him? Do you trust people's signals? Not Does really. everyone signal no. correctly all no. the time? No. no. So it's an indication, but I wouldn't bet my life on it. Okay. So a better strategy, if he's here, we just don't know. Is there's a choice? Is he either going that way or that way? Mm -hmm. It's like at a fault, he could go either way at this point. So how, what about, would be a better strategy just to sort of see what he's going to do? What could we do? Wait. Yeah, hang back. Rather than come to an abrupt stop, if we use our brakes and come in here and slow it all down and delay our entry to the roundabout, if we just hang back another couple of seconds or even half a second, then if he ends up there, we think, oh yeah, we're glad we've slowed down, we can stop because he's going to come round. If he ends up there, we think, oh, I can release the brake and go. So we can just sort of hang back and look at where people are going, what they're doing. Okay. If we arrive at a busy roundabout today, which there is one that obviously I can't make it busy, but we better cover it in case it is, because it'll make a lot of sense when we get there. Let's say we get there and there's a queue of cars here and they keep coming around the roundabout. So you've got to wait for them. Mm -hmm. So we've got to give way. But cars coming across here will come into the roundabout. And when they get there, what will these cars do? Will they be able to go if there's a car here no. to their right? No. They'll have to wait. Yeah. So we call them the blockers. Okay. So if we've got a road busy to the right, we can look ahead and think, oh, look, these guys are coming in and they're going to suppress them. They're going to block them, giving us an opportunity to get our gap. So we can use blockers. Okay. So there's a couple of things we can do. We can use their position mm -hmm. in the roundabout to work out where they're going. We can use their signals, which might reinforce their position. And we can use blockers to get ourselves in. If in doubt, what we're going to do? Wait. Good job. That's it. So what else should we do that? Yeah. Should we go and do some lefts? Sounds Easy. good. So let's... Yeah, I'm going to chuck that pen. That pen's going now. <laughs> but I'll, yeah, let's rub that out. So let's go and do that. So I'm going to direct you to where these roundabouts are. So you're going to go on to a new bit of route today. You've not done this before. Okay. So the roundabouts will be new. But the getting out of the estate you've done before. Okay, so some of this would look familiar. So in terms of the T-junctions, are you going to be responsible yeah. for that, doing yeah. that? And when we get to the roundabouts, what level of help would you like? Uh, I'd like you to help, help me to talk there, yeah, help yeah. me, yeah. That's good, good. So I'll give you, um, what I do to make sure it's right, I'll give you a full talk through. Okay. So to, to get the timings right, I'll say to you when to start your routine. So I'll be saying, right, check your mirrors now, centre left, signal now. I'll remind you about your position. I'll talk to you about your speed and your gear and looking whether to go. Now, the decision to go, how do you feel about that? Do you want to look for a gap so I can work out whether you're making good decisions? You could sort of look in and I could say, what do you think? Are you going to go? Are you going to wait? And if you say, yeah, no, I'm going to go, I can agree and let you get on with it. Or if you think you're going to wait, you can wait. So basically, we can, I can give you the decision to whether to go into the roundabout. If I think your decision's not quite right, I might just overrule you and say, no, wait on this one. Okay. Or no, you could go. So I'll just give you, a, I can help you with the decision. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And then, um, and of course, as you know, you know, I always say, I've got dual controls there. So if you do get in a muddle today, I can always intervene physically i'll always do that verbally like wait stop you know first and if i needed to today um if i need to take control of the steering wheel i think you're drifting out of position on a roundabout get you back in yeah okay yeah happy with that yeah, yeah. g'day right so um any questions no should we go do it 
Right, so I'd like you to head towards the exit. Now, if you look at the exit, mm -hmm. we're going to be turning right. So how are you going to position coming out of that? So I don't think we've been in this car park before, have we? Um, I'll come over to, to the right. So I want to go right. So, so you're going to position to the right. So is, yeah. is that an exit or an exit and an entry point to this car park? No, that's, that's both. That's entry and exit. Okay, so if someone was coming down the road there and they wanted to come in, yeah. if you're positioned where you said you're going to be, how would that work? How would they get in? Oh, they wouldn't. Yeah, so how, what, what would you do differently? Uh, so I need to be on my half, but like straight. That's it. So yeah, so if, there's no road markings there. There's no centre white line. There's not even any giveaway lines there, but it is. Um, so yeah, assume everything's two-way unless you're absolutely sure. If there were signs, say, look, there you go, look. What would we do there? Because he, he took well, the whole if, entrance. Well, he come the other side rounds. There's nothing that says he can't do that. But if you were there, I'm sure he would have seen you and gone the other way. Oh, okay. So as you approach, you've got this hedge. Yeah. Which is kind of shielding your view. Look out for pedestrians. Because at least in winter, we can sort of see through that hedge. It's a bit transparent. But imagine that in summer. That would be a wall of... Imagine this, this is a kid, yeah. look, kiddie play park kiddies would be running across there wouldn't they so imagine that summertime you wouldn't see it would you go out there nice so and shall i treat that a bit like at closed junction we were very closed junction with a high risk of children ah, okay because they'd be lower than the head i think an adult would be lower than the hedge i don't think we'd see an adult would we that's still about six foot so it's just something to think about okay so when you're, you're going to deal with that then so yep. Well, head towards the exit, turn right. Okay. And have you seen what's just sort of run across the back there? A dog. Cool. Should I wait for the dog? Well, he's on the yeah. field. Is it safe? I think so. Up to you then, yeah. Looks like a well trained dog. It does, yeah. He's got a paper. I'll turn the radio off. Yeah, so as you just approach and just have a little scan through if there's any pedestrians or little kiddies. It is a school day today, so they should be at school, but you know, the little toddlers, they're the sort of people that have come to these little playgrounds with their mum. Good, good mirrors there in the new road as well. Lovely. So we've done this bit of road before. Normally, when we get to the end, we turn left, but today yeah. we're going to be turning right. Okay. So what signs have you got coming up? A uh, giveaway. And? A 50. So yes, yeah, so you're aware of your speed limit in the new road. So I'll let you concentrate on this. That's a good decision. So, you know, you've got a good sound decisions at junctions wherever to go. So I think the roundabout is not going to be too much of a, a leap, you know, in terms of making that decision. Okay. And just uh, just update me on what's happening behind. So got... My car has just turned off. I just turned off that junction right there. And what's the speed of the road? 50. And what speed are you travelling at? 45. Cool. Which is fine. Should I do 50? Yeah. If it's, is it safe? Yeah. Okay. We're about half a mile from our first roundabout. Okay. And we've agreed that I'll be helping you. Okay. Just to get the timings right <coughs> for our system. So we use that as system. Okay, so you see the road just dips, short distance after that. Can you see the, the roundabout sign? Yeah, behind the tree. Okay, so if you check your centre mirror, yeah. check your left mirror, just ease off the yeah. gas, pop yeah. a left signal. Start to bring in the brakes and reduce your speed as if you were going to stop. Start to look right, ahead and left. 
the clutch, second gear. Clutch up, is it safe to go? Uh, Come on, yes, progress, let's go in. Got lots of room there to go in. Because that little, what was it, little Honda or whatever wasn't in the roundabout here, was it? No. Yeah. Like so lots of times. Next roundabout, we're going to be turning left, some mirrors. Yeah, centre, left. Signal. Yeah. Ease off, new speed limit in this road, so we're going yeah. to use the brakes. Can't see to the right yet, brakes slower, slower, slower. D clutch, roll first. Look at the van, off yeah. brake, let it roll, in you go. So we just hang back, let that van just exit, yeah? Yeah. Just let him out. We didn't know, did we? we weren't sure. I wouldn't have put a bet on it, I wouldn't have bet he could have come round. So we just hang back. So nice slow approach here, we can just see where he's going to go. Okay, so we're in a new road, bit of dual carriageway, yeah. so what's the speed on this road? 70. Okay, so if it's safe and you feel good, doing a, safe, a speed you feel safe doing. Okay. Lovely. Good. So if you look well up the road, see the warning triangle? Yeah. That's a warning sign for our next roundabout. Okay. I'm not expecting to see it at this distance. It's just a shape and colour at this point, yeah. isn't it? But it's, we can see it's a triangle and there's a square sign, rectangular sign under it, which will say reduce speed now. But I'm going to talk you through as to when to reduce that speed, okay? okay. So we're going to update mirrors. What's happening behind? Oh, car behind us. Okay, so maintain this speed. Just stay at this speed. Don't touch the brakes when you see that sign. Okay. Okay. So now, mirror check. Yeah. And what I want you to do is just ease off the gas pedal. There. So we've got a little bit of engine braking going on. Mirror, mirror, left signal. Car's staying behind us. We've got to slow on the road and we're going to apply the brakes. Bring in the brakes, keep braking as if we were going to stop. Look into the roundabout, see where the bus is coming from. Yeah. D clutch, leave your clutch down, keep on the brakes, second gear. Off brakes, clutch up. Stay in your lane and keep left. There you go, beautiful. Just keep it left. Mirror check, two-way traffic. We're off to dual carriage right now. Yeah. 50 limit ahead. Happy days. So now we've just gone, we've just done two roundabouts. No, we haven't. We did three roundabouts. <laughs> Wait, three, there was three there. And we're now back on the route to do that again. So we're about two miles um, from the next roundabout. Okay. And these are going to be the same three roundabouts you've just done. So are you, do you want a little break? Do you want a debrief or do you want to keep on the move and just have, go and have another go? Go again. Go again. Let's go again. Well, there's nothing there. There's no real issues there to discuss other than I helped you and you did very well. Okay. So now what I'd like to do is sort of give you a bit more responsibility for the next lap, if you like, the next circuit. So how much responsibility do you think you can take for this? Just don't worry about answering that, let's just deal with the cyclist. Are you happy to deal with this cyclist? I think I'll wait. Should I wait? Till yeah, the I would yeah. wait. Think about your gear as well. And think about your mirrors and whether you need a signal or not. There's nothing about the buses back there. Happy? Good? Lovely? What up? And that was a nice lot of clearance you just left him. And in the mirrors, what's happening behind? Uh, the cyclist and the bus is catching. And the bus. So we've got a bus behind. So yes, do you want to have a go at doing this on your own, or would you still like me to help you? I'll have a go. Yeah, I think I'll have a go. All right, if you get in a muddle or things aren't safe, I'll jump in, either verbally, if I need to, physically. Okay. All right. Yeah. So why don't you talk me through what you're doing? Okay. okay. So we know soon you can, well, you can see it now. There's yeah. the roundabout. Sign. So you check the mirrors. You check the mirrors, good. Yeah. Do an indicator on. Yeah. Where are you looking? Uh, up over there and over there. Okay, keep your hands on the wheel, you just yeah. you just can describe it. What are you gonna do with a clutch? Oh yeah, clutch, clutch down. Are you gonna wait or go? Uh, go. Okay, so then it's gear and then it's a go, isn't it? Look at that. Lovely. 
lack of prey and he's followed us in the new road. No one. Okay, so next roundabout we're gonna go left. What slow vehicle have we got up ahead? Uh, tractor. So we're gonna go left to start the routine. Remember last time how we hung back if it's busy? So we yeah. don't want to be in a rush to get into that roundabout. Just hang it back. Go in so you can't see yet. It's so a slow, slow, slow. Clutch goes in, roll it, think about your gear. Second. Is it? Yeah, is it safe? Yeah. Stay in your lane. Check that right mirror. Yeah. Why do you think you're checking that right mirror? Uh, because of that blue car. Yeah, people will be exiting that roundabout at speed and you just need to know they're there so you don't affect them, just you want to know where they are. Okay. Okay, so we walk ahead. Yeah, a lorry. And what's the plan? Do we overtake or stay behind? I quite like this speed, I quite enjoy driving fast. Alright, so what speed is he travelling at? 60, because he's not really catching it Yeah, and what's the speed of the way? 70. So is it safe legal to overtake? Yeah. Okay, if it is, I'll let you get on with it. And in the distance, we can see our sign. So this is a safe overtake. We've got plenty of time. We won't want to do it too near to the roundabout, would we? Because we won't want to cut in on him and cause him to slow down unnecessarily. So good clearance on him. Lovely. So there's, here's our roundabout, we're going to be going left again. Okay. So when are you going to start the routine? Now. Here it is. Second. Do you want to do this on your own? I'm going to be quiet now, I'll just let you get on with it. Okay. What are you thinking about? Going in front of the BMW then? Yeah. And where's that truck? He's not coming, he's not behind us. Okay. So what we're going to be doing, we're going to go, we're going to have a little debrief before we do the next part of the lesson, okay? So we're going to be taking the second road on the right. So not this first one. Next road on the right. Tell me when you can see it. I can see it. Good. So this is where we started from. So we're gonna go back in to our little car park. See the warning sign for children playgrounds? Yeah. Just around the corner is we're gonna be turning left. So you wanna start your routine now because it'll come up quite quick. And remember this is two ways. So before you commit, see if anyone's trying to come out. See if yeah. there's any little kiddies running behind that hedge. So if there was someone coming out, it's not wide enough, we could always wait outside before we yeah. come in. And what I'd like you to do is just drive forwards into a bay. It's not gonna, into yeah, bay. just drive forwards into any bay. Uh, should I go for them ones because of the sun? Or get me well, why don't you pick a middle one and then we won't have to reverse out of one, will we? We can just drive yeah. through and that'll make life easy, wouldn't it? Relax, you can flick the engine off just for a sec and look. See, as the little ch child, they weren't there before, were they? No. So that's sort of some of the part of the dangers that we're looking out when we're just using this car park. 
So, let's review what we've done so far. So we've done roundabouts, turning left, and what would you take from that? What have you learned from doing left so far? To look into all the roundabouts. Yeah, we can look much earlier, don't we? Yeah. We can see a lot more earlier on yeah. some of those roundabouts. Yeah. So the first one we did was really open, wasn't it? You could see yeah. there was an open field. You could see right, like here, isn't it? Like a field. You could see cars coming way in the distance. You could see way ahead. Um, and that we can make that decision, can we? Uh -huh. So we get the speed down, get the gear. Yeah. Okay, that was good. Then the next roundabout had a big, well, going on to the dual carriageway, had a big mound of earth, like, for the dual carriageway. Yeah. And that blocks your view. Yeah. What does that mound of earth make you do with your speed? Slow really down. Doesn't it? Yeah. Do you think that's why they've put it there? Oh, yeah. That is. They've put it there. They've put something there to stop you seeing, to slow you up. Because people don't drive fast into the unknown. They just want to slow down because they can't see. So that makes you slow right down. Because they'll be coming in fast from the right. 70 mile an hour road, they're going to whip round aren't they mm. and the first time we did it we had the little van yeah, yeah and we just got that speed all the way off and we could just wait to see him commit to the exit and once he'd done that it was off the brakes take a gear and go yeah you Very had good. me rolling didn't you rolling yeah. yeah and did i need to touch the brakes so, well i yeah, would have told you you were telling me what to do so. so i was telling you and then just right at the end there so it, reviewing that is there anything there that you think you could have done better? At the end, I was, was, I, was I too quick at the end? So let's talk about the white BMW. Is that where you're thinking? Yeah. Okay. So the lorry behind, white BMW into the roundabout. And yeah, I, I just want to make sure what was your decision? Because I kind of overruled you. I said, well, wait, where are you thinking about going? I was a little bit because I just overtook the lorry and I was slowing in front of him. Okay, so if you're stone in front of that lorry, well, if you think about when you overtook him, we were back on our side of the road well before the um, the warning signs. We were before the bridge, so we had lots of time. Just your sp approach speed was slower than his. That's why I was catching you up. Okay. You didn't cut in front of him, make him stay down. You were already back in, and we were just bringing that speed off. And why did we need to bring that speed off? Because we were turning left. Yeah, because there was, and we had the bus coming and the oh, BMW, yeah, yeah. and there was that uncertainty about the speed. So if we go in there fast and with a lorry behind and change our mind on the BMW and end up braking sharply, what could happen with that lorry? Well, he could hit us. Exactly. So we're better to get the brakes on, get the lorry slowing down with us into the roundabout, you know, control him, and then if we do need to stop, we can stop and he can stop. Yeah, and if it's clear, then we can go. So we want to get that speed nice and low, and then it was good that we did because when the BMW come round, we had a nice soft stop, oh, didn't we? It wasn't yeah, like that. No. One of them, so we're nice and smooth going in. Oh. So, I'm, so when I'm slowing down, then I'm giving myself time, but I'm also controlling what's going on behind me. That's it. Yeah. Ah. So if we go in, if we go in too quickly to a roundabout. And then think, oh yeah, I'll go. And then like a motorbike comes flying in out of nowhere that we didn't see or something. Um, and you have to brake sharp. Well, with a lorry, that was an aggregate lorry, wasn't he? Mm. If he's fully loaded, he's going to struggle, isn't he? Yeah. So we can reduce our speed in the zone because we, we had the warning triangle with reduced speed now. At that point, we're engine braking. Then we got to the countdown markers. The boards were the 300 yards, 200 yards, 100 yards. So by the 300 yard, we want to be applying the brakes, getting the speed down, right down to the 100 yard marker, and continue to brake until you can see it's clear. Once you can see, once you can make the decision, clutch, brake, gear, off brakes, clutch up, go. Or if it's busy, you brake, clutch goes down and stop. Gear one, get ready to go. Okay, so that's so how we can do this. So that's so that's good. Did you want to try a block of lefts again, and sort of do that more independently before we move on to going ahead and right? Do you think I need to do left again? 
I think it would be good to see you do that on your own. Just okay. so I know that you've got it. Okay. So let's do it. Shall we do a block of lefts and then we we'll move on to a heads and rights? Okay. So we're going to do that block again, going left, and, and you'll be responsible. So now this is responsible to come over to you. Okay. If you need any help, ask for it. If I think you're not dealing with a situation, I'll jump in. Happy? Mm -hmm. All right. So, yeah, when you're ready, drive on. So it's the third time we've done it. So we did one with a talk through. Second one was more prompted. This one's your time to shine. I'm on my own. You, well, Can I'm I in safety in there. Well, just stop, just wait for a minute. So, the car, well, have a look. Are there any road markings that say you can or can't go left or right? No. Okay, so what's the other car doing? It's coming here. So if you, the good way, to, you can go either way. Okay. There's, there's no, there's no rule here, right. but you want to assess that junction. Okay. So if there's someone coming in a bit fast, then you might decide to go the other way. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Remember what the BMW did before Actually. he went round the other way, didn't he? Yeah. It kind of looks like a roundabout, but it's not. Keeping the route just the same, okay? Can you remember the route? Yeah, turn right, left, left, left. All right. right. So I'll leave you in charge of route directions as well. Do you want me Bit to of talk? independent driving. Okay. You don't want me to tell you the route direction. You can tell me what you're doing, but I don't want you to point or take your hands off the wheel. Okay. If you think that's too much, stop talking. Just concentrate on what you're doing. You don't have to talk to me if you if you feel it would help you kind of explain what you're doing when. Great, but I will just watch you, and if I see you doing it, I'll be more than happy. Okay. How would you feel with the first one then? I think that's okay. It's very good. I'll let you concentrate on the next one then. This is the one with the mound of earth, isn't it? They don't want you to see yet, do they? Get your speed down more. Just go in slower, that's it. Good decision, what up? And what were you going to check? That one, really important one there. Left one, not so, that one much more. That's where they'd be coming in from quick. And I'll intervene there because you weren't doing it. Okay. If you were doing it, I wouldn't have said it. Okay. And this, the third one, is the one that we 
talked about with the BMW. Right. We have much more open lines of sight on this one. And you think about, you know, I want you to sort of play it as if you did have a lorry behind you. So the speed comes off gradually. So if you do need to stop, it's going to be a nice smooth one. And if it's clear to go, you can just go into the roundabout at a safe speed. So you get the best of both worlds. So now we're coming up to the sign. So I'll, I'll be quiet, let you get on with it. Kids. A little bit early for that signal, just count it there. I'd wait till you're into the 300 yard marker, like there. That's it. That's it, good, your braking's on good time. Let you concentrate on the gap. Speed is very good. See all the skid marks on approach, that's where lorries are brake, sh brake sharp. Speed is perfect, gear is perfect, decision is good. Like a professional, and just remind me what's this sign tell us? Um, two, two way traffic. And um, what's the speed in this road? 50. Oh, it's actually 60 here, ah. 50 there. Okay. And we're going to take the second road on the right. Okay. Where well, that bus has just come, the one we did before. Yeah. stop there you really want to have a really good look another check if you check down approach you just want to recheck I'm going to take the next left back into the car park so who are you looking out for before you turn in here kiddies and people coming out of the junction yeah because they could come out the wrong way can they and again I want you to drive forwards into a bay with the same one he come this way so I'll be this way that's it yeah we're all good That's it, yeah, good. Because what was, why is that a good decision? Why did you drive forwards? Because nothing can it? park in front of me. That's it, yeah, and if it did, what would you then have to do? Reverse. That's it, and why, why do we want to avoid reversing? It's dangerous. Exactly, yeah. Restricted view. Kiddies, dogs running about. So it'll always, always be safer to drive forwards out of our bay, wouldn't it? Yeah. So that's good planning. So good. So let's just review. So you've just done that the third time round, going lefts. If you had to give yourself a score out of 10, what would you give yourself? 10. 10? Okay. Actually, no, I don't know. No. 9, because I didn't check that mirror. You told me I didn't check that mirror, so it wasn't perfect. Yeah, and why do we want to check that mirror at that point? Just in case anything nips up the inside or up, up, up there. That's it. <coughs> yeah, because there's multi lanes on that roundabout and then they can come around there quick. And we just want to make sure we don't affect them and just know they're there, really, so they don't start you. You know, you, you might, um, you want to be quite positive there with progress. So if cars are coming off, you know, we don't want to dilly dally because we'll hold them up. So we just want to get in there and just know they're there, really. So, yeah. So, okay. So you give yourself a nine. Um, and if you check that mirrors, give yourself a 10. Um, and I'd agree with that. It's good. On the third roundabout, as we come in, as it comes down the slope, the one you had the lorry behind you the second time, mm -hmm. notice all the skid marks yeah, going in. Yeah. So you can see this is a frequent event 
where people are breaking sharp, yeah. too sharp, and locking the wheels into that roundabout. So it's probably a possible site of some collisions there, isn't it? Yeah. If people yeah. are blocked. Um, and you won't want to be the person with a lorry behind you being shoved into the roundabout. That speed coming off. Mm -hmm. We think, let's talk about the signal on that roundabout because you um, you saw the warning triangles reduce speed now and you popped the signal on. You checked your mirrors, popped the signal on. And I said, I'll oh, just cancel that. I personally just would have waited a bit longer. Okay. Um, until we can see that roundabout because it was on a bit of a bend, wasn't it? And there could, could have been like a lay by or something around that corner. Couldn't there? Okay. Or another little exit, a little farm exit or something like that. There wasn't, because we can't. So let's just sort of wait till we can see our roundabout. Okay. Then we can plan the timing of our signal. So if there is something, you know, sometimes you'll be driving on roads you don't know, and local people behind might think, oh, he's going to take that little, that little, that little track or go in that lay by. Yeah. And start an overtake when, and, and wish they never bothered because you were. Oh, okay. You know, signaling too early. So that'll just make it a little bit sharper. So when should we signal? When would be a good time to signal? Because I did mention it as we did it. I don't know if you can remember what oh, I yeah, said. Um, you said about boards. Boards, boards. That's it. So there was a sign there were some signs on approach count what they call countdown markers. So there was one with three lines on it. And do you know how far that's that's positioned from the roundabout? Oh, I don't know. That's 300 yards. Oh, right. So they're in yards, not meters. So you've got a 300, 200, 100 yards. So it's a good indication, a good, using the same with pun. So it's a good time to get your indication in at that point. The first two roundabouts didn't have them boards though, did it? No. So we were on a dual carriageway. Ah. So on faster moving roads, dual carriageways, motorways, they put the okay. countdown marks in. For like roundabouts, slip roads, so I went too soon with my indicator on the other two then, because obviously I haven't got a board to... No, okay. no, that was fine. Yeah, you know, we're, you know, it would just make it a little bit, a little bit sharper, I think, if we just delayed that signal till we get to the, till we can, mainly till we can see the roundabout. It's because we're on the bend, we couldn't see it, could we? No. That signal's a, bit, a little bit early. Okay. They're saying reduce speed, which is fine, let it lift off. And then countdown marker, get your signal on, bring in the brakes. Somewhere between the 300 and the 200 where you want to be on those brakes so all that speed comes off, which you did. Okay. Lovely. So the next thing would be to move on to, would be to go in ahead and turn in right. We haven't got time in this lesson. So next lesson, that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be going ahead and turning right. Okay. On roundabouts. Happy with that? Yeah. Good. Done. Done.